Alrighty, well, morning, everybody. And time once again for my cast. So, and this time around, uh, same as yesterday, I'm grabbing this uh, next selection from one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. Their specialty is dark ambient music. And this time around, it's Underworld Existence, which the, the freaking thumbnail looks wicked. Looks cool as hell. Um... I think this one came out either a few days or a few weeks ago. I can't remember which. But yeah, this is this is one of the big draws of Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. It's, uh, oftentimes their thumbnails as well. And uh, I have I have played their I have played their music or ba played their ambience based solely on the thumbnail. the The music itself might might just be uh, dull and boring, but the the thumbnail the thumbnail used more than the thumbnail they use more than makes up for it. So, let me go ahead and rewind this back. Fire away. Um, otherwise, not a whole lot. Just did my usual. Just, yeah, pretty, mu pretty much just uh, lays around. Um, I took a couple naps, not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday I took three, and I was about to take a fourth one, just because of how messed up I was due to the work week, uh, lack of sleep. Um, I slept better, I mean, I slept better this morning, or I should say, I should say yesterday morning, but I, it was all, it was, unfortunately it was all dream and nightmare filled. But it was something, so. Um, but otherwise, otherwise after my after my stream though, it was a lot of gems of war. Just even off stream, I um, uh, I started up a new class called Sentinel. It just they it's it's kind of primarily a defensive. I don't really want to go into too much detail here, but it's. It's primarily a defensive class, just shielding, uh, shielding itself and its uh, other party members from damage. It's the bit, it's the big one. But just been working on that, trying to level it up and stuff like that. So, um. Yeah, and um, and also I um, I did watch an athlete and X video. Um, it was about uh, like about the best shoulder exercises and one of the one of the movements that he was doing were called hip huggers. And I I I saw that immediate. The moment I saw that though, I was I was like I do that, like um, it's it's the same motion I do when doing my dips. Um, it's meant. It's meant to be a chest exercise, but uh, I do them by uh, I mean I. But you guys have probably heard me say this before. I'll put my uh, I'll put my hands up on the kitchen counter, and I'll I'll prop my legs up on the uh, on the the mini counter across from me, and then I'll I'll dip up and down doing that. But um, after what, after watching uh, after watching this part of the video. I came to the conclusion, or actually, let me let me back up. I think it was uh, I think it was yesterday's stream when I mentioned this, and I totally forgot to mention it on the uh, subsequent cast I did. But uh, I think one of the factors in why I hurt my shoulders, uh, Friday. Or, yeah, Friday at work. No, no, Thursday at work. Thursday at work. I hurt my shoulders. Um, was uh, this uh, the dips that I was doing factored in. Because it's it wasn't really so much out there and did it, it just did it, but it wasn't really so much the lifting with my shoulders as much as uh putting like kind of downward pressure on it, downward pressure on my shoulders. That's when it hurt. But it's pretty much the same. It's exactly the same thing I did when uh whenever I do my dips. It's the, it's the downward pressure on my shoulders. So I'm guessing that. I'm probably doing the dips wrong, which I think I am. But the problem is, uh, I have no other, 
I ho I have no other means of doing dips. So it was, I had a and uh I'm trying to think. And you, I could probably buy I could probably buy dip bars off of like Amazon or something, but uh, the problem is is I'm trying to assemble them. It can be kind of a pain in the butt. In fact, uh, I still have my uh, my barbell rack. You know, you, you know, it's, you know, you hang the, you know, you, you know, you put the rack over the bench, and you know, you know, you hang your barbell on it. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, but it's uh, it's missing a screw, and um, I keep forgetting to, I keep forgetting to buy one at like Walmart or Home Depot or something. But yeah, I can't, I can't assemble it because. This one big, uh, one big screw is missing out of it. So. So, but yeah, but like, like I said, I'm. I will, I'd like to buy like dip bars, but the problem is, is uh, I'd have to assemble it, which means there's gonna be that chance where, I'll, I'll miss a screw or something, and it'll totally, it'll bring assembly to a screeching halt. So. So I've had to I've had to improvise and use my kitchen counters to do them. So it looks like um. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Okay, but anyway, um. But yeah, it looks like dips are until I can figure something out. They are off the menu, so I'll probably have to, I'll probably have to do push-ups or something. But even then, that's still gonna be putting, that's still gonna be putting downward pressure on my shoulders. So, so there goes that. So there's, so even then, that might be a no-go as well. But, and I, I want to get some other kind of chest exercise in there, but the problem is, is uh, dumbbell flies are are an alternative. But I totally agree with uh. Jeff Cavalier, the the creator of Athlete and X, they're actually a pretty dangerous exercise, and they're not that effective. I know that from experience. Cause uh, for a while, it, it kind of it, it puts it puts your it puts my arms in the red zone. Okay, cause uh, I'm here. Let me. Let me go ahead and see if I can pull up a gif of dumbbell flies for uh for those that have never worked out in their lives. Let me. All right, working on it, working on it. Oh come on, it's it's 2021, almost 22. We can come up with better gifts than that. This one here is only two freaking images. Like, really? My god, this is the kind of thing I see on Windows 95. I guess I'll just go with this one. Okay. Just give me a moment. I almost got it. Almost got it. Almost. Yeah, so for those that don't know what a dumbbell fly looks like. But yeah, it's actually a it's actually a pretty dangerous exercise because it puts your arms way out in the red zone. And even even then, I don't I don't really that I don't really feel that much of a chest contraction. It feels like an arm, it almost feels like an arm exercise when I do it. Um, same goes for, uh, for cable crossovers, cable crossovers, uh, bench presses. Those actually, to me, they feel more like arm exercises than they do chest exercises. Um, dips, dips and push-ups. Uh, yeah, dips and push-ups actually feel more like chest exercises than they do arm ones, so... That was why I was going with those. Um, 
for the push-ups, I doubt there's footage for it. I doubt I could. I doubt I'll be able to find footage for it. But there's a. Uh, if you could pick, if you could picture this, there are actually a. Uh, they're actually incline push-ups. I have my legs. I have my legs up on my bed. That way, so um. So my bot. So my um. Uh, my body is more angled into the ground, into the floor. And then I do my push-ups that way. So. But like I said, there's probably going to be no, there's probably going to be no Google or a Google GIF that has, that has push-ups the way I do them. So, but, but like I said, yeah, it, these were the dips and the push-ups were actually my preferred form of chest exercise. But again, it, it looks like uh, I'm going to have to look for something else because of the downward pressure on my shoulders. But um, otherwise, um, one other thing I did is um, I started watching parts of a of a couple of FGC uh, a couple FGC documentaries. Uh, FGC means Fighting Game Community for those that don't know. Um, but just watched a couple of these, and I was I was actually inspired enough to play some footsies again. I tried doing another arcade run. And this time I sucked. I mean, I, I mean, I got, I, I mean, I was, I was even lose, I was even losing to the very first guy, um, spammer. Like all he does, he just spams the same attack over and over. Very easy to, you know, very easy to counter. I couldn't even do that. And then um, the second guy, his name's Blocker. He's basically a counter attacker. I mean. Really, that guy should be a final boss, not the sec you know, not just the second guy you fight. I actually have an easier time against the final boss than I do against the second guy. You know, so But yeah, like pretty damn bad. I just but I just went ahead and just uploaded it to YouTube and Twitch anyway. Figuring you you never know. You know, somebody might be interested. But uh, yeah. But yeah, it's for those that don't know, Footsies is my all-time favorite 2D fighter. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, I did try playing Street Fighter, the like the 20th anniversary edition. Ah, yes, I totally forgot why I haven't played this game in a long time. But it's as there is not it is it does not like it's broken like it and not like this. It is very annoying. It it back to I even tried to treat this game one time and I could only imagine what the viewers had to go through. Cause it was so super annoying. So I don't but I played a few other games that do that. Like the stuff just got the it got it, it up. You know, it just I don't know why it doesn't. But it you know, every other game I play, the sound works just fine, but not Street Fighter twentieth anniversary edition. For some reason it doesn't. So But yeah, like, but unfortunately, the the twentieth anniversary edition, it actually it doesn't have the actual original original Street Fighter two. It doesn't have it for some reason. It just has like Street Fighter two hyper fighting and all that other stuff. I mean, the extent of my Street Fighter knowledge is just the first two. I played a little tiny bit of Street Fighter V, like, I got as far as the tutorial and that was it. I think what I, I think what, what really killed my interest on that game is like, uh, just, you gotta wait an incredibly long amount of time between fights, because there's all these ads and stuff like that and all this fanfare. And it's also one of the reasons why Footsies is my all-time favorite 2D fighter. There's like, almost no fluff whatsoever. So, you know, no cutscenes, no, no animation. The most it does is it just, it shows you the next opponent, and that's it. So.
but otherwise um that otherwise that's gonna do it um i pretty much said all the things i wanted to say this morning so i guess now's about a good time to stop as any uh but but thanks a lot everybody for tuning in and listening to me i i appreciate that and i should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning so but until then thanks again for coming around everyone and see you all next time bye now <laughs>